Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to create your very own clan website. So first you need to head on over to iclanwebsites.com. The link is in the description below. And once you go to that link, you will end up on a page that looks like this. So first you need to enter in a community username an email and a password and then you need to select create website so once you've done that you then need to go into emails and you need to just click on the link to activate your account okay so this is free okay 100% free so now you need to click on login once you've created your account and we're just going to simply log in Okay, so once you've logged in, you now need to select create website now in the top right hand corner and we need to choose a website name. So I'm going to choose computer sluggish and we need to select the website username. So it's going to be the same again, computer sluggish and we're going to select create website. So now we have done that, we are on our admin panel for our website. So we've got quite a lot of options here, as you can see. We've got our main settings, our forum board. So forums is so people can post and stuff. We've got our domain, so that would be up the top here, your link to your website. So let's just copy our domain name and let's just go to our domain. So... This is what our website looks like at the moment. So it does look pretty awesome as you can see. But we are missing a banner. We've got a nice little chat box here so we can go test. And then we've got our consoles here on the right. And we've got help pay for your website on the right hand side here. So it, it is all very cool. And they've done a lot of the work for us which is awesome so you can upgrade as well if you want to get extra features and so on so obviously if we go back to our admin panel and click on to main settings so here we can choose from a few obviously simple settings we can choose our website name so i'm going to keep it computer sluggish for now we can have a welcome message on the activity feed or welcome message on the forum. So it's just some simple options basically. So here we've got our web address. So you can have either of those for free. So clamwebsite.com or iclamwebsites.com. It's totally up to you. So let's just go on to activity feed. So select which items appear in your activity feed. So if we go back onto our main website, we should have an activity feed. So up the top here, as you can see, we've got activity feed. So we can decide what gets shown in there. And I believe it's at the bottom of our, yeah, so it's just there, our activity feed. So we can choose what gets displayed in that as well. So that's that's a cool option as well we could hide it if we want we don't have to have an activity feed like I said it's your website it's up to you what you want on it you can fully customize it a hundred percent so we can have a welcome message um, so when people come onto our website there's our little welcome message which you can see is here so, like I said again, you don't need to have that if you don't want. We can get rid of that. We can hide it. We could just have something completely different than all that text. We could add images or we could add a YouTube video. So, we could... Okay, so... Alright, so I need to know a link of a YouTube video. But, yeah, so you just put the URL in there and then you just... It would come up in this window and we'd select save. Okay, so here we've got a few more options. So we can have our social plugins enable the top menu. So we could disable that if we want. We can disable blogs. We can hide the footer. Okay, so you do need to upgrade your plan though to be able to do that option. So, like I said, obviously it is free. They're offering a free service. So you can't always do absolutely everything unless you 
upgrade. Okay, so that's how they try and make their money as well, by getting people to upgrade. So if we just refresh our page now, so as you can see, we don't have no top menu now. So that's disabled. So also, if we go back to our admin panel. Okay, so here we can add server monitors. So basically a server monitor, it will get information about your server on your game so say you've got a minecraft server it will tell you what players are in the server how many there are and it come up with all cool little stats so if we just go back now we can set up our forum so we can create a new board and so on so obviously if you know what forums are, I can go into more detail about setting up your forum in another tutorial because there is quite a lot to cover when it comes to forums. But yeah, so you can have an awesome forum so people can post loads of stuff and so on. So they're pretty cool. So also we've got Twitch. We got our instant chat rooms. So we can set up a chat room so people can talk to each other without having to use a third party chat program so basically a chat room it's basically like Skype and Xfire if you know what that is and so on so everyone can talk to each other within the website which is pretty awesome so here we've got our members list so this is a list of everyone that's joined our website so that's a list there of all the members and we can create new members if we want so we've got our member privileges so we can change if we want them to be an admin um, so they got special access on the website and so on we've got a recruitment section if you want to use that ranks so you can give people ranks on your website which is pretty awesome you can ban people from accessing your website and we've got roasters so here we can add people to a roaster so we could have a battlefield roaster a call of duty roaster and then you can add members into each roaster and you can decide who's the leader of each roaster and so on okay so now we can do you can also send newsletters and also you've got an option for profile feeds so basically a profile feed is on the forum or even on the website at any point so if we go new profile feed we can choose where we want so it could be on the console and then they would fill in what console they have so we'd go save okay oh yep save and we can show that on their registration so basically now when they go onto their profile feed they can choose a console that they have or well type one in we can add which consoles i believe um i'm sure there is an option yeah drop down menu okay yeah so here you would add the options in for the drop down menu okay so you'd put xbox playstation and so on in there so like i said this is a really really good website to yeah so this is a really really good website to create a clan clan website like i said you've got so many options you can do your panel layouts so panels basically on our main page um on our website if we go to it these are panels so your consoles your team pay your offense this is what we call panels so these are all movable so you can we could move team pay down the bottom there we could move chat box down the bottom we can add more panels so we could add our servers onto there we could add a custom panel so if we go save now and go back to our website as you should see it should have changed um i can't even remember which one i adjusted now but yeah so here you can also add others so we could add youtube if we want so youtube be on the left hand side now so if we just click save 
and go back onto here we should hopefully have YouTube pop up okay so it didn't pop up for some reason let's just see why um, do 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 it might actually be because let's just go back for a second let's just go edit okay so the reason why these ones weren't working is because they're empty fields so it's not going to show anything for now so I've just added welcome and as you can see welcome has come up okay so like I said you could move that all the way to the top if we want and go save and if we just refresh that page now as you can see welcome has gone to the top so that that is cool that is basically what panels are so also we've got change our theme so we can change the theme if we want so if we just click on that quickly there's a list of themes here some you have to pay for some are free so you'd simply just press select and apply theme and now it's saved if we go back to our website and refresh as you can see our theme has changed so yeah there are lots of options on our iClan website so I hope this tutorial helped if it did hit that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials